In today's video, I'm going to be building a tiny home in Bloxburg. So firstly, let's go on Pinterest to get some inspiration. So when I search up tiny home in Pinterest, this is what comes up. Oh, this is really nice as well. I don't know if I like the outside of this. I think I want it to look like a triangle. So something like this for the exterior. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. Okay, I think we're going to do something like this. Just make it smaller. Okay, now because this is going to be a tiny home, I'm literally just going to make it like four by six. That is literally how big I'm making it. Okay, now to do the roof, which is the tricky bit, because as as you can see the roof is kind of like on a slant so we're gonna have to make this out of basic shapes oh my gosh guys working with basic shapes is so difficult i'm literally sometimes i'm just sitting here like oh and we can't forget to add this at the back either okay now for the difficult part which is actually doing the slant i literally have no idea how i'm gonna do this but you know what that's the fun of it hashtag i love struggling yay okay so we put that like this and then we use the transform tool to kind of put that on an angle Oh my gosh, when she's an architect, when she's a designer, what am I saying? I also have to make sure there's no gaps like in between the roof and the wall. I'm not even measuring this out, by the way. I'm literally just like guessing. Okay, wait, wait, <gasps> wait, did it connect? Oh, just, just look at that. That is a beautiful roof if I've ever seen one. She is beauty, she is grace, she is Miss United States. And you know what? I might even make this extra difficult for me and add two sky roofs at the back of this room. Okay, then we put a transparent cube on top of this cube and then we kind of just measure it out Me measure it out oh my god there we go look at that we have a beautiful little sky roof that is actually kind of cute and then luckily for me i can just copy it instead of building that entire thing again okay now we just have to fill up this back wall so we can use a little horizontal wedge look how close that is to the gap like look at this so close yet so far and there we go voila we fixed the problem i mean what problem there is no problem okay anyway okay i think that's a cute little outline to work with okay now obviously we're going to be making this entire wall at the front out of windows and uh guess what <laughs> you guessed it more basic shapes you know what i don't know why but i've always wanted to live in like a tiny home it just seems so comforting for some reason okay there we go a little window on the second floor okay you know what we're gonna be super fancy and add one of those like massive glass doors okay so we're gonna use these little framed sliding doors and put them in the middle but the only thing bothering me is that you can see the gap in the middle and for the windows one of you guys taught me that if i use clear windows and resize them it ends up being cheaper than like buying one of those like really expensive modern windows oh okay i changed my mind i'm using these ones again just because i don't like the little black gap at the top okay i think i like that better now we just have to actually like outline the outside of this tiny home because right now it's kind of looking a little bit bare so we can go in with like structures, make it nice and fancy. You know what guys, I literally could not fathom building a Bloxburg house on mobile. If you build on mobile, I have so much respect for you. I've never built a house on my phone before. Oh wait, what if we make this white? That's kind of cute. Okay, never mind. I changed I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna stick to white. Okay, you know what? This tiny home is gonna look so cute. Okay, you know what? We can make the floor like super realistic. So what I usually do is put two layers of planks like this. And then for the third layer, I put logs. And I mean, look how realistic that floor looks. Okay, and we can't forget the second floor. So I'm thinking this can like be the bedroom. Okay, I think for the bedroom, it can be like three by four. Okay, now for the stairs, because most of the stairs in Bloxburg take up at least three blocks, I'm going to use these spiral stairs instead. That way it won't like take up as much room. Okay, now up here, we can't forget to add rails. Here we go. We're not going to have any people falling down. Okay, so I'm thinking this little bit here can be like the living room. So I'm just going to copy these little clear windows and add them all along the side like this. The lounges can't be too big. So I think I might use these sophisticated sectional lounges. Okay, and we can make this like a little mini corner lounge. And then for the tables, tables are pretty big. So I'm just going to do my own little custom table. And then for the lounges, we can stick to white. I want to add lots of white in here because it is like a very tiny home. And I feel like adding dark colors will kind of close off the space. Oh, we also need some blankets on here as well. Make it nice and cozy. Okay, what can we have on this little coffee table? You know what? We'll just keep it simple. We'll just add a few books and then just like a little succulent. Why is that succulent $245? Like what is so special about the succulent? Oh my gosh, you know what we need in here? A little welcome mat. That is so cute. Okay, and I really want to add a fireplace. All the fireplaces are literally like massive. So I think I'm going to stick to this small one like that. It literally like fits the space perfectly. Okay, please tell me I can extend this. Okay, good. Because I mean, it looks a little bit awkward with the little stick just like sticking out. There we go. And you know what? I think it's kind of cute. Now back here, we need to add the bathroom. So we need to add a shower and a toilet and then a kitchen and a dining room. Lots of room and very little space. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of these windows and put like an opening like this. You'll see why. Add a little 
little console table beneath it. Okay, so we can have free industrial stools like this. So what I want to do is kind of make this into like a big breakfast nook. So you can like sit here, eat your breakfast and look out the window. Okay, I guess we can just put like some tableware on this little breakfast nook. We can have a few forks, little spoons. And there we go. You know what? That looks kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. Okay, now before anything, I need to cut this wall up like this because that's where the bathroom and the toilet's going to be. And um, somehow I'm going to have to fit the whole kitchen in here. How am I going to do that? I have no idea. Okay, so we'll add lots of windows just to open the space up. Okay, now because the kitchen's like really tiny, I think I'm going to buy a mini fridge. Okay, so we just use these shaker cabinets. Okay, actually mini fridge can go there. I'm going to put pillars so it's covering the left side of the fridge. I don't know really what that does. It just makes it look more presentable. And we'll put like neon lights on top of these pillars. Like that. Oh la la, so fancy. Okay, and you know what I realized? We need to paint this place. Like all the walls are still gray. So we might go with like this twisted wood look. I really like that. And then obviously the roof can like be made out of logs. Okay, now back to the fridge. Okay, so we can fit like a little mini microwave in here. Okay, we've got microwave, fridge. We also need a sink and an oven. I don't know how we're gonna fit both. Okay, maybe the sink can go there and we can have like an electric cooktop up there. Okay, I think that works, maybe. We also have this wall back here. So I guess we can have like these oak shelves. Okay, now up here we can just like stack tableware. So we can have a few bowls, a few plates on this side. And then finally, just a few mugs. I think we have room to add like a few cabinets up the top. They're gonna have to be like really tiny though. There we go though, the kitchen actually does look pretty good. I might actually change these windows to white to make it like a little bit more brighter in here. Okay, and then for the lighting, I might just have like a little chandelier up the top. Okay, I'm just gonna put this mini sphere chandelier like that. Okay, and you know what? I actually came up with a pretty genius idea. I don't know if this will work though, because I haven't tried it before. So standard square beams like this. And then hopefully we can put storage units. Oh my gosh, okay, we can. Okay, so we put storage units like that. And then to make this super cute, we can have like little hanging plants like all along the shelf and we can change like the height and the width of them so they're all different. You know what? Maybe we can do like purple and pink leaves. They can be like lavender. Okay, there we go. Something like that. That looks so cozy. I love it. Also, this is an entry area and I feel like it's missing entry area essentials. So we need like an umbrella stand and like a little coat rack. You know what? I kind of like the fact that there's no TV in here. I feel like if you had a tiny home and you're like surrounded by nature, I feel like you wouldn't want a TV. Okay, now for the lighting because even though this tiny home is cute, at nighttime it would look really creepy without any lights. There's also kind of like an empty space behind the lounge. So we could add like this little cubby shelving and just like stack it with books. And then above here we can have like a little candle. I used to be obsessed with using linen lighting, but if you want a more realistic feel, stick to like hurricane gray and flint. Okay, and there we go. Oh my gosh, I have never used this painting before. You know what? We can put it there. I've never used that. Wow. Okay, now for the bathroom door. I might just use like a little frosted door like this. And then as you can see, the bathroom is literally only two by two. It is very tiny. So we might just stick to these subway tiles. Actually, back here can be like a feature wall. So we can use granite for this one. Now, obviously, we're not going to have room to add a bath. We're just going to have room to add a shower. So, I mean, shower can go there. Toilet can go right next to the shower. And then we can add the sink over here. Wait, if the sink's there, then maybe I should make this the feature wall. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so we just need a little mirror. We can add like a few stacked towels down here. And then, obviously, some toilet paper. We cannot forget toilet paper. Oh my gosh, you know what this is reminding me of? I don't know if you guys remember this video, but we literally built a Bloxburg house, but every room was one by one. So I keep telling myself, even though this bathroom is small, it could have been smaller. Okay, and I think that's the whole bottom floor done. So now we can work on the second floor, which is up here. And I'm thinking of making this my bedroom. So you know what? I actually might change this back to white. I don't know if I like the whole wooden theme. It's kind of creeping me out. I think I might use structural beams to kind of outline my bedroom, do something cool with it. And for the bed, you know what? I think I'm going to be fancy and add like a massive double bed. Okay, and we also need to add bedside tables, but preferably one with storage because there's not much room up here to add heaps of storage. Okay, and we'll also make the bed with these fancy pillows. Um, I'm not going to lie, this bed looks so comfy. It's making me kind of sleepy. Also, these windows aren't looking like windows, so we're just going to outline them with structural beams. Okay, there we go. I think the windows are done. We can add like string lights above the bed. Okay, you know what? As much as my initials are so iconic, I think we just might put a painting up here instead. Okay, now I really want to add a TV up here. Like I said before, it's going to have to be like a relatively small TV. So I guess we can put like a little nightstand over in the corner of the room and then fit like a little TV in the corner. Also, this room would look sick during thunderstorms. I just realized that. And okay, now for the outside, I really want to make this like, surrounded by a pond. So I'm going to go quickly finish the outside and then we can go have a look at the inside. Okay, so our tiny home is all finished. As you can see, I done a bit of landscaping off camera as I thought you guys would just find that boring. It's literally me just placing trees and mountains. But yeah, this is how the outside turned out. It only looks so pretty. Like that sun gleaming through the 
trees is just like so beautiful. Anyway, decided to make this house like a floating house. So it's like on top of a lake, which is kind of cute. Okay, the tricky bit is the only way to get to this house is to do like a little parkour obstacle course. You might fall in the water. Like, can you imagine if this was actually your home and you had to do this like every single time? Anyway, coming inside, we have this beautiful entry area. The views make this like 10 times better. So I decided to add like the little lounge room here. And instead of adding a TV, I just added like a massive fireplace. Then coming to the left, we have this little dining area. And I think this is so cute. Like, can you imagine eating meals here? And then you have this beautiful view of the lake and the trees. Like, I think I would genuinely sit out here all the time. And then making our way to the left, we have this kitchen. Now, considering the kitchen was only two by two, I think I made it work. And I really like the color scheme that I use as well. But what makes this kitchen 10 times better is the view. I mean, oh my gosh. I swear, if you have like an ugly house and you just make the view look nice, it makes your house like 10 times better. So yeah, that was the kitchen. And as you can see, I made this beautiful little custom made flower bouquet up the top and I think it turned out really nice and then the last room downstairs is the bathroom now the bathroom was also two by two so very small but again I think I made it work I just have like the little sink here these beautiful custom decals that I found off Pinterest and then the toilet and the shower okay now finally making our way upstairs again more beautiful decals and then we have my bedroom now even though the bedroom is pretty small it's generally like my favorite room in this entire tiny home can you imagine just picture this okay you can't see your face when you lie down because there's too many pillows but it's fine like can you imagine just laying down here with these windows as it's raining actually i'm gonna change the weather if i turn this into a thunderstorm guys look how beautiful this is Are you kidding me oh my gosh you can just see the rain on top of the windows this is so relaxing if this was my bedroom in real life i would genuinely be in here like 24 7 i would never leave like look at this it's genuinely so cozy also if you stand at like a certain angle you can kind of see the sunbeams coming through the window and it just looks so magical like stop so yeah that is the tiny house all complete this is genuinely like my dream home like I don't see myself living in like a really big mansion I've always seen myself living in one of these little cute tiny homes and I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you want to see more content like this make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye